Jesus' resurrection from the Bible. So I'm making some expansions and some contractions in the story. So this is a story version, not the exact word for word version. As the sun was setting on the cross, Jesus was dying. He cried, it is finished. There was a man named Joseph of Arimathea who was an elder on the council and who had been looking towards the kingdom of God. And as he saw Jesus die, he was very grieved. And he went to Pilate and requested that Jesus' body be given to him so he could bury it. He went immediately because they wanted to do this before the sun went down. Pilate agreed, and the soldiers then took down Jesus' body. It was wrapped, right. <coughs> and they took the body to the grave. There also was a group of women who were very grieved at the death of Jesus, and they saw that his body was being taken, and they followed Joseph to the grave site and noted where the grave was. They wanted to help, but they noticed that the sun had set. And according to Jewish law, that was the beginning of the Sabbath. Once the sun had officially set on Friday night, the Sabbath had begun. And law said that you had to rest. So they had to go. So on the third day, early in the morning, the women woke up and had flowers, spices, and perfuming oils, which, as you know, at a funeral, as people mourn, they want to take flowers as a respect for the dead, to show their love for the person who had passed. That was the purpose of these spices and oils. Also, um, the secondary purpose was being in a very hot climate. They wanted to preserve the body and prevent the smell. So the women had gathered the spices. And they left towards the grave site. As they approached, they noticed that the stone blocking the doorway had been rolled out of the way. They were very puzzled by this, and as they went into the grave, they noticed that Jesus' body was gone, but that the claws that had wrapped him were still there. A bright light shone on them, and they fell to the ground. And two men in shining clothes asked them, Why are you looking? Why, excuse me, why are you looking for a dead body here? This is the place of the dead. Jesus had already told you that he would die on a cross, and then on the third day he would rise again. And as they listened to this, the two men disappeared. The women ran back to tell the eleven disciples, <coughs> what had happened about the angels and the light. They told the disciples what they had seen about Jesus' body being gone and that he was resurrected. <coughs> the men were not buying it. They thought the women were lying. One of the disciples named Peter had heard the women's story and decided to see for himself. And as he went to the grave, he saw that the stone had been rolled away, and as he went in, <coughs> he saw that Jesus' body was gone. And he ran home, and he was very grieved and very puzzled by what had happened. Now, the town of Jerusalem was on fire with the news of what had happened to Jesus' body and the recent events. Some people were saying he was resurrected. The others thought the body had been stolen, and no one knew what had actually happened. On the road outside Jerusalem, there was a man asking others what was going on. There were two men, very disheartened, saying to each other, Our king has died. I know we have no hope. We thought he would save our country. So a man walked up behind them and tapped them on the shoulder, saying, What are you guys talking about? What do you mean we're talking about? Where have you been? The news is everywhere. Jesus is dead. And now we don't know if he's resurrected or his body's gotten stolen. We don't know. 
And the man said, you two are ridiculous. You have been fighting and resisting the truth. Don't you know that Moses' law has already predicted these events? The prophets have already told what was going to happen, that God would come down to earth and become a man, just like you and me, and that he would have to die on a cross. And on the third day, he would rise from the grave. And this man began explaining the law, and explained the entire day long. And the men were listening to him, very impressed. And then he said, okay, sundown, we're heading out. No, 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 please, please. The man asked, please stay with us, stay for dinner. We want to hear more. The man agreed, and he went to the two men, and as they started having dinner, he continued to explain, and he grabbed the bread, broke it, and blessed it. The two men were in, um, had their eyes open, and they realized that was Jesus that they were having dinner with. Jesus broke the bread and then disappeared. They realized they had seen Jesus, and they knew they had to run immediately back to Jerusalem and tell the eleven what they had seen. And so they did. They came and they said, we saw Jesus, we saw Jesus. We, we, we get it. He told us everything about the law and the prophets. The eleven, again, were really not buying it. <laughs> And as they told this story, they're kind of going, well, what and what the, what the, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Understand, as this man was telling his stories, Jesus had appeared right behind him, saying, here I am, and peace be with you. Why are you doubting me? I've risen from the dead. I'm not a ghost. If you don't believe me, look at my hands. See the nail marks. It's actually me. Let's go all the way through, all the way through, same on my feet. Look. And they came and they saw the nail wounds in his hands. And they were very amazed. And Jesus said, okay, anyone got any food? Okay, got some fish. So he took the fish and ate it. And he said, see? Ghosts don't eat, but here I am. Okay, so I'm actually alive. But now you have to listen to me. Everyone's going to be like, okay, it's you. But wow, it's you. Did, did you expect this? No, I didn't. Okay. And then Jesus said to them, you've seen me. You've seen that I'm risen from the dead. And now your job is to go out into the world and to tell people about me. Now remember, you don't leave Jerusalem until God's promised Holy Spirit comes upon you. And then you go out into the entire world and tell them about me. Now, we're going to the town of Bethany. Okay? Come on. They all went to the town of Bethany. And when they arrived, Jesus struck, spread out his hands and blessed everyone there. And then, holding up his arms, he ascended into heaven. And people watched him rise into heaven. And then they worshipped God and praised the Lord. Ooh.